Plastic blow molding is a manufacturing process used to form hollow plastic containers. There are different types of plastic blow molding processor available. Most common three are extrusion blow molding, injection blow molding, and stretch blow molding. Here we are going to discuss about extrusion blow molding. First we will see the basics. Plastic bottles are made from thermoplastic materials. At first stage the raw materials will be in granule shape. It is then heated and compressed to form parison. Parison is plastic hollow tube. Then the parison is clamped inside a mold. And air is pumped into it. It will cause the parison to enlarge in the shape of mold. The part is then ejected. And the excess part is removed. Now we will see the detailed working of an extrusion blow molding machine. The machine consists of Hooper Heated feed barrels Extruder screw which has feed zone, compression zone and metering zone. One of the main part is head and eye assembly. Plastic granules are fed to the feed barrels from the hopper. As the granules enters the feed barrel, it is pushed forward by the rotation of the screw. As the plastic moves forward, the gap between the feed barrel and screw reduces. Due to this reason the plastic get compressed and heated. Also due to the externally heated feed barrel, plastic gets melted. The molten plastic is extruded through the die and head assembly. Then it attains the shape of hollow tube. This is called the parison. Mold containing a cavity is closed around the parison. The parison is cut by a hot blade. Then pressurized air is blown inside parison to expand against the cavity wall. To form the shape of the mold, plastic is then cooled. Then the air is released. Mold opens and the part is released. The excess part in the top and bottom is removed by the machine. This is called deflashing. These excess parts are then used as raw material. This is the final product. Thank you for watching.